every time I come here, I've seen the kids making these uh, robots and the enthusiasm that they show when they're moving around, something that they've built over four weeks. It's, it's fantastic and I think that's the sort of thing that really enthuses kids. And once they've got their head down, they love doing what they're doing. I really liked um, building and programming the micro bits and like creating the games. I enjoyed making new friends in a, in a new group like I've never met before. Just making the robots and just like figuring it out, just how to code it and how like the missions work. It's great building it, learning how to code it, and it's just like great experience. I think making the robots like as a team is good like for your uh, working skills and like developing it. You'll make new friends, I certainly have. I didn't know Sean at all. <laughs> and also, it's like it's a really fun. Even if you think, oh, it's on a Saturday, why would I give up my Saturday? Probably just sitting at home watching TV, and this is way better. You look at the equipment around here, you know, building robotics, so those are the sort of things that you know, a lot of state schools just can't afford to put, uh, put money into. And as a subject, uh, I think STEM is very much needed for uh, the future growth of the UK economy. So to have these kids really excited and uh, interested uh, in STEM subjects at an early age and hope that they go on to be engineers and scientists would be uh, fantastic. I wanted to get involved in today's STEM session because I'm keen to promote uh, sciences and engineering to young people. So what I did today was to try and show them how science and engineering is all around them. I talked about uh, refrigerants and the ozone layer and then I talked about power generation. I think that the biggest challenge is this perception that science, mathematics and, and engineering are difficult subjects. Um, it's just a language, so really it's just a ma matter of showing them that all they have to do is learn the language and with that language they will find things easy and they will find the science and engineering subjects enjoyable. And we need to prepare all our children in all walks of life for everyone that they're going to uh, come across, meet. It's normal life to mix with everybody. I think you also want to inspire those kids to, to, to broaden their horizons. They've got to inspire to the fact that all those resources they can access if they work hard enough, they're smart enough, uh, all those opportunities are open to them and it's not, it's not a closed shop.